We're talking today about panel interviews. Ricky Baez, as a 20-year HR professional, why do companies do panel interviews? You know, Pete, it, some organizations do one-on-one -on -one interviews because they want to hire an authority to just assess the skill set that the candidate is bringing to the table. But the main reason why organizations do a panel interviews because it is it is so much better to get uh, an assessment of a candidate skill set from different leaders' points of view. You've got your systematic leader, you've got your 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 free spirit leader, you're considering your direct. You've got the same person being reviewed by multiple leadership uh, styles and multiple leadership outlooks. So that's why I think it's really important to do that. So you get multiple perspectives at once and and really put the candidate under the spotlight, right? I mean, this is an intimidating thing for some people to go into as a candidate. So what advice would you give to make uh, to make those panel interviews go really well for the individual who's looking to to be hired? Like every other interview, Pete, you've got to do your homework. And I mean, really do your homework. Do not walk into that interview conference room not knowing every nut and bolt of that organization from Google, obviously, right? So the first step is homework, homework, homework. Find out the history of the organization, why it was started, what the goal of the organization is, and try to figure out a way how to weave in your skill set on how you can help that organization going forward. Yeah, every organization who brings someone in for an interview is investing significant time in that individual. So the interest is there, expressed interest in that organization in return by, like you said, doing your homework in advance, get on their website, mm. go through it, know exactly what they're all about. The interview will often be cut short if, if you go in not knowing <laughs> what the company's mission is and what they're looking to accomplish. So take the time to do that. It'll greatly increase your chances. And that's advice for any interview, not just for the panel interview. So what else? Any, any other recommendations? If you really want to stand out, I mean, really want to stand out, it, it, it's – look. Hiring authorities, they they respond to being impressed by the skill set, right? But if you really want to impress them, try to see if you can find out who they are on LinkedIn, right? So talk to the recruiter, find, see if you can find out who's going to be in the interview panel and just look them up on LinkedIn, not, not in a in a stalkish way. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, find out who they are, where they have worked in the past, what school they went to. That way you get a better feel of what kind of person you're talking to because you can make a better connection if you know who the recipient of the information you're going to give is, right? So if you're able to mold your communication style to who they are, and you're going to find a little bit on that on LinkedIn, right? Maybe what school they went to, where they worked before, maybe find some common grounds that you can I don't want to say sneak into the conversation, right? But weave it into the conversation to make it flow better and they feel better about the 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 data that you're giving them. Um, and you'll make a better connection. So I say look them up on LinkedIn. Don't stalk them, but just find out who they are. Don't go to their house. Don't invite don't them. Don't do that. <laughs> look them up on LinkedIn and know who they are. And you said the key word to this, not not it, not just in a panel interview, but even harder to accomplish in a panel interview, which is make a connection. Yes. That needs to be the goal going in. And that means looking the individuals individually in the eye the, mm -hmm. and, 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 and finding a way to hit the mark with what they're interested in. So you gave another piece of uh, very valuable advice in that, which is to ask the recruiter or whoever is setting up the interview to list the the names and the titles for you of the people who are right. going to conduct the interview. And if, if you can get this much information, it's even better, is to find out what they're looking for in a candidate individually. Mm -hmm. It could be people from different departments. It could be your peers. It could be multiple uh, managers from the department you're going to work in. All these situations are unique. And so the, the as much as anything else, the more information you could uh, find in advance, the better about yes. what's expected um, of that of that candidate in the interview to give yourself the best chance for success. And if you do that coupled with great answers, right, because you really, you know, you want to go in there before you go into that interview panel. Part of that research, part of that homework is it's putting together um, your past experiences and how you're going to answer them, right, because you have your own experience. You've got your 
your, your, your resume, which is on paper, you got to bring that resume to life. So they're going to ask you some questions, some spe specific questions of what you have done in the past. Try to make sure you've got some, some uh, past stories. I don't want to call them story, but past experiences ready on the go so you can answer them to really showcase your experience. That's how you're going to make a great connection. You're going to impress them. That together with making a connection with them, doing that research, you're going to blow them away. I guarantee it. Perfect. Well, thanks so much for giving giving your uh, advice today. Very valuable to anyone listening. And don't just stop here. Explore the Zengig site. We have lots of information on the different types of interviews. Look at the different job descriptions that we have and use that all to your advantage to give yourself the best chance of success and go get that job. Ricky, right. thanks. appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Have a good one.